Hello everyone, welcome to part 8 of Laravel MongoDB tutorial uh, in which we are working on the CRUD operations right now and in this video we are going to delete data in our MongoDB uh, database that uh, is located in the MongoDB in our Laravel application and from the next video we are going to start working on Laravel e-commerce application with MongoDB okay so we are going to create uh, the e-commerce website in Laravel 11 okay so uh, in Laravel 11 we are going to start working on the e-commerce website uh, and that is having the MongoDB as the database no SQL database we are going to uh, use uh, for our Laravel 11 e-commerce website and that is the first time we are going to use the no SQL database for the complete e-commerce application okay so uh, so uh, so no, watch the complete series you will definitely uh, will have lot of benefit because now at times uh, see new things are coming no SQL database are becoming fa famous because of its fast and uh, and fast and it is really good for the large projects okay uh, so the companies uh, many companies are now uh, dealing with the MongoDB okay so let's start in this video we are going to delete data in MongoDB with Laravel we are covering all the basic concepts uh, that uh, is required further on in our e-commerce uh, website okay so the CRUD is very important thing so that's why we have selected the CRUD we have we are working on the CRUD to have the basic information that how we can connect the Laravel uh, with the MongoDB okay so uh, see these posts we have already added and we have already shown uh, this post here in the last video we able to update this post uh, and now we are going to delete this post as well okay uh, so that post once we delete that post will get deleted uh, here in our MongoDB as well okay in our database Laravel Mongo database is located in the MongoDB so now uh, what we are going to do uh, we are going to add here in show.blade.php file uh, here see delete link will not work because it requires the form uh, because it's the resource controller we are using the resource controller so that's why it requires the form so what we are going to do we will also convert it to form as well this update uh update uh, i'm going to use the button instead of this one i'm going to use the button and also i am going to add uh one uh, that delete uh, uh delete button as well okay uh, that will be uh embedded in, in, in form so here i'm going to use the form and inside form i'm going to use here button uh and button i'm going to give the type submit and here a button name i'm going to give the delete button and here i will give uh, some class as well to the button uh, some bootstrap class button button primary and button block and also see uh, here in action i am going to give uh, sorry action for deleting the post okay so that i'm going to use the route so i'm going to uh, connect that post dot see here the function name is destroy to delete the post we are required this uh, destroy function okay remove the specified resource from storage so this is by default created with the resource controller so we can't change it okay so here post dot destroy will come and along with the id like we have used in the edit okay same thing we are using see here also we have used this one so same thing we are going to use there as well okay here the post dot update comes and here the post dot uh, uh, destroy will come okay and then uh, this one this uh, uh, post uh, uh, see it's coming in post instead of this one it's coming in here and this one we are required to uh i think we must uh require to post put in post like this okay so here uh we are required to end this route and we here like this so uh then method we are going to use the method as post as well post method we are going to use and here i think uh, some style is also required I'm going to give here the style like 
float right and let's check once that how it looks uh, some syntax error is there let's see uh post try okay so here i forgot this one then post this one and see this one where it is closing it is not closing anywhere okay so now let's check so it's fine okay delete button is coming and now this one also uh, we are going to use here uh, i'm going to use here the update as well and see type submit is not required here just the button is required okay so but here also we require the this one so let's check and uh, style float right uh, uh, this one sorry here not here we are going to put it inside button uh, where i am putting i try to put here okay so let's check still it is not correct uh, see, see, uh, one more thing see here csrf token and uh, one more method uh, here also we are required to add lead like this okay so this one i have forgot but still uh, it is not showing correctly and i think we need to give here only i think maybe style float right this one style float actually uh, button is a part of the form so that's why i'm not so good in css so that's why it is taking more time here margin left and pixel left margin left and pixel like this see what else we can do uh, i think we need to add more spacing to it so maybe that is the reason yes now it seems to be working fine okay uh, so I will give here spacing like 15% uh, yeah it looks better uh, 14 yeah 13 let's see because it is having the fixed space uh, no we are required to give 14 at least okay so now it seems to be fine okay button seems to be fine now update as well as the delete and it looks good as well okay so once we will click on delete uh, then uh, it must reach here so here first of all uh, we are required to give echo dollar post die so let's see that what's coming okay here uh, so uh, we are required to uh, refresh this one and we'll click on delete here see the required data is coming here so only this id is required because we are going to delete with the id underscore id is required okay like we are updating the post we are going to delete from the model uh, this one but uh, before that make sure the id is coming here if is set the id id how uh, id will come in dollar post then underscore id in mongodb it's underscore id in sql mysql it's id okay and here we will reach in this one and then we are going to delete that we are id underscore id uh, and we are going to match it with this one like this and we are going to delete like this and here return redirect post okay we will redact to the post with success message post later successfully like this okay so here i'm going to remove this one is not required so let's see if we can able to delete the post or not okay so let's refresh and now i'm going to remove this one this big article post click on delete and here you can see the post deleted successfully and here you can see only two posts are left 
so i'm going to remove the another post now okay so this one so i'm going to click on this one and here you can see this post is also deleted okay so uh, see here we can show that alert also but uh, uh, our our purpose is not working on the jquery or javascript our purpose is to connect the laravel application with the mongodb so that we have done in these eight videos uh, we able to um, able to connect the mongodb with laravel so that we can start working on the uh, full flat e-commerce application full flat e-commerce website we can able to make the e-commerce website in laravel uh, with the help of mongodb that will act as the database we are going to uh, add the database uh, for our laravel uh, website in the mongodb okay so for the first time we have not done this thing in last few years we have just add uh, just created the laravel website we have created the multi-vendor e-commerce website in laravel 10 and and now for the first time we are going to create the e-commerce website in laravel 11 uh, with mongodb as the backend okay so so uh, for uh, uh, please join as well as the subscribe the channel please subscribe the channel at least open youtube.com stack developers and we are the first one who will create the series in laravel 11 okay so you can join simply uh, subscribe the channel this one youtube.com stack developers please subscribe as well as join the channel if you want to get the complete source code if you want to get the complete source code of these eight videos as well okay basic uh, basic connection of the laravel with mongodb crud operations as well you will get the complete source code of this one and with spot as well and also you will get the multi-vendor e-commerce website full-fledged multi-vendor e-commerce website in laravel uh, with mysql and also you will able to get the future videos laravel 11 e-commerce website with mongodb as the database okay so uh, simply subscribe so that you will watch all the videos you will get the prompt uh, you will get the alert of uh, the new laravel videos with mongodb and also you able to get the source code as well with the complete support so uh, that's all for now have a nice time goodbye